Hey, what's up guys? Wolfcore here, and let me just start by saying, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I have not been present on the channel. Uh, some of you guys may know what's kind of going on there, but here is an update as to where I'm at. What's going on? Where have I been? When am I going to be back? Um, so, I just started a new job. I'm an electrician now, and the first thing that has been keeping me away has just been starting a new job uh going from sitting in a truck for you know eight hours today to being on my feet up and down ladders and stairs all day with 25 pounds of tools wrapped around my waist plus you know the the mental stress of learning a, a trade has just been absolutely wearing me out i've just been so so exhausted after work like to the point where i can come home sit in this chair try and start like a youtube project or something and literally be like falling asleep like I'm talking like next level exhaustion. You sit down, your body's all tingling, and you're just like, uh, uh, uh. so just so you know, that's just been killing me. But I, you know, I know that my body will adjust to that. And it is today was like the first day where, and it's, it's later in the week. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, but yeah, today was just the first day where I felt good and energetic all day. I came home. I still had energy. I didn't go for my run because I was dealing with other shit, which I'll get into right now. But yeah, uh, work is going really well. Loving my new job, loving working with my dad, loving being an electrician. It's all going great. Uh, couldn't be happier with it. Could not be happier with it. I'm really, really feeling like hopeful for the future more than I can remember feeling in ever. Like it's oh, just, oh, life is just, oh happy things. Um, so what was I dealing with when I got home? Uh, there's just been so many bullshit adult things going on in my life right now. Like the lease on my car just ended like a week ago. So I'm having to deal with getting rid of my car. And, uh, my dad actually wants to buy it, give it to my stepmom, and then they're going to give me a free car, which is freaking dope. And thank you, dad. You are amazing. Like, oh, is that financial burden? Like I'm basically living slightly above minimum wage making been making payments for the past three years on a lease on a brand new car like i could not afford this i leased this thing when i was you know at making like well over 20 dollars an hour in a you know high paying position at a company that i'm no longer with so like having this car out of my life is going to be huge and i won't have a car payment because my dad is hooking me up like it's oh one of the reasons why life is just like falling into place right now it's so good so good um so yeah the car thing i've been dealing with that and i've just been on and off the phone with like my dad's money people trying to get information from me about the honda people and i've been on the phone with the honda people but they all close right when work gets out so and they're closed on the weekends so it's been very very difficult to just like get in touch with people and i've just been on and off the phone with those people about that constantly then on top of that, I have my fucking apartment people being like, hey, you're going to like get evicted if you don't get renter's insurance. Everybody has to have a renter's insurance policy right now. So like I just spent an hour, like, well, it was 50 minutes, but, you know, an hour on the phone with freaking Nationwide tonight trying to get that all sorted out. But I finally did. I finally, well, we'll see if we got it sorted out by tomorrow once I get the email and I send the email to my apartment people and everything. But, you know, we're moving the chains on that. We're getting it done. We're, we're putting in the time. We're coming up with solutions. That shit is almost dealt with. On top of that, my roommate is moving out at the end of our lease, which is at the end of next month. So uh, I'm not having to really deal with that other than, you know, directly talking with my roommate about what's going on and all that. But, uh, you know, that's just another big thing being like, hey, you're not going to have a roommate. Are you going to move out? Are you going to you know, get a new place with different buddies? Are you going to find a new roommate? Are you going to do this? Are you going to do that? What are you going to do with your office? You know, are you going to be able to get another walk-in closet? So that's just been a whole big shit show of, of crap that I don't want to deal with. Um, God, I've just been ranting for like, oh, only four and a half minutes now. <sighs> okay. Deep breath. Uh, what else has been going on? Um, uh, I know there was another thing. My taxes, my fucking taxes. It's tax season, so I've got that shit going on. And if you've, you're an adult and you file taxes, you know it's like kind of a pain in the ass. It's a big time sink. You gotta have the right paperwork and everything. And of course, for the first time ever, one of my W-2s didn't come in the mail. So I'm trying to like figure out a way to get my W-2 from Starbucks, from the job that I was at at the start of the year. And you know, I'm having to deal with multiple W-2s here, and one of them just didn't show up. 
because uh, I think my mailbox was overstuffed because I don't get mail at my apartment. I have a P.O. box and my apartment's mailbox is just crammed full of these like stupid circulars. You know, they're just like coupon newspaper things. So I, I never check it. Anyways, so I'm pretty sure the Starbucks thing got sent to me at my apartment. The mail person is just jamming crap in there like, why doesn't this guy ever check his mail? Because I have a P.O. box. I don't want my mail to come here. And then they ended up just taking everything and being like, ha you know, we couldn't get your mail in the box. We leave you this little slip that you have to fill out to like reduce junk mail or something. I don't fully understand it. So I filled out the freaking slip. I mailed it in. I'm hoping that, you know, my, my back mail, the stuff that they just took straight out of the box will come back to me. Uh, but it hasn't yet. So I'm guessing that's where my W2 is. And it's just been uh, just such a pain in the ass because I don't really know who to contact i'm trying to figure it out but it's just uh, oh what else yeah so that's just kind of been it that's going on with me in the major department uh just lots of big things that i have to deal with lots of phone calls and paperwork and and bullshit like that that i've been having to deal with and that on top of the new exhaustion and stress from a brand new job like seriously i have been like falling asleep at 7 p.m you know, with a pile of clean laundry on one half of my bed and I'm on the other half because I've just been too overwhelmed and swamped to like deal with anything. But I am finally, finally getting caught up. I am adjusting to my new job. Everything is falling into place. Uh, I don't think we're going to be back to, you know, the typical schedule by tomorrow, but I'd say at most we're looking at, and again, at most we are looking at maybe two more weeks of me being kind of MIA on YouTube. But I think we can start to pick things back up again. And by about the two week mark from now, uh, we should be back to streaming regularly, regular uploads, all that good jazz that we want. We are definitely over the hill with all of this crap. Uh, we just have to get things back to normal. And I cannot wait for things to come back to normal because the thing of all this stuff that's been going on, all this stress, the thing that has been bugging me the most is my lack of interacting with you guys. I miss you guys so much on the stream. I miss making videos and editing and all that stuff. Like I really do, it has been eating me up. But uh, tonight I was just like, I have to make an update video and let you guys know that I miss you so much. Freaking Beardheart, I love your faces. You guys are amazing. I miss you so much. Uh, things will be back to normal soon. I'm really, really, really gonna try to do a stream this weekend, maybe two. If I just can't get to it because life gets in the way like it's been doing, then it, it is what it is. But the stream will be back very soon. Very soon, maybe as soon as tomorrow night. We will see. Uh, yeah. I think that's it. I think I got it all off my chest. Of course, as soon as I start editing this video, I'm going to remember three other things that I wanted to say in this video. But for right now, I love your guys' faces. I miss you. And I will be back soon. Bye.